Good morning, Avion. Say good morning to Lucy over there. I'm supposed to be sitting up in timeout, right over there. I told her to do something, and she goes, "No!" It was literally like, "No, I don't want to do it." And I'm glad we have a time. We're doing a timeout system because that would not work for me. And I'm glad I'm having a good morning because. Mm. So. I'm gonna make a little bit of a dessert. I'm cutting up some bananas. I've got some sunflower seeds, cut up dried mango. What I'm gonna do is microwave some semi-sweet chocolate, doesn't have any milk in it, and added some coconut oil. Unrefined coconut oil, and thanks for reminding me because I have to buy more. So you can see I'm already running out. So I'm gonna melt the chocolate into the microwave and I'm gonna drizzle it over the chocolate, stick it in the freezer or after lunchtime. The kids can have a little dessert. Um, a little bit of sweetness, but yet bananas, some um, nuts, and some dried fruit on it. I honestly don't know where like the behavior my kids are learning from because I don't want to say TV. We honestly don't even watch a lot of TV during the week. They, if I would have to count how many hours of TV they watch each week, it would be a total of one, two, three hours a week. And that is so little compared to the average child, how much TV they watch a week. And we'll watch one movie. So a movie is what? almost an hour a movie every other day but for the rest of the me uh, time of the week and of the day they're either playing or we're doing crafts or we're out it's just unbelievable and you know I'm not gonna blame myself I'm just gonna blame how you know just that's just what kids know now and it's really sad of course it's really shocking when you're first time or second time mom in my case first and second time and it's just they went from they went from like innocent babies to like talking back like it's just so quickly and and in my and Luis and I are just like where do they learn this we don't even talk to each other like that I don't find it cute I honestly I don't find it cute when my kids are being disrespectful even if they are young I'm gonna correct them right away we're gonna I, I tell them not correct them like slap them around but I correct them you don't say that and even though they say huh the more you do it especially at a young age they will get, they will know as they grow up ever since they were uh, I don't even remember when we started doing timeout, when I asked them, when mommy says, don't do this, blah, 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 like, did you hear me? And then they, they respond, opo. And to them, they don't know what that means. Opo is just like a yes, ma'am, yes, sir. It's uh, more of like a respectful way than saying yeah or like sure, whatever. Mom, I want them to respect Mom, Luis and I. So Mom. anytime, it doesn't even have to be from timeout when I say, did you hear me? Or you don't do that, you hear me? They always respond, opo. I'm like, yes, yes. Bola. Where's the other bola? <gasps> Yesterday I was playing dodgeball with Mike. As in, we were playing, playing as in he was running and I was throwing the ball at him. And that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to play that, kept giving me the ball, he kept running away, and I kept pegging him with it. He would fall, and we had a good time. <laughs> It's nice and smooth and melted. It only took, I think, about four thirty seconds. Okay. Doink. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You want me to throw it at you? Okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks. The one that I saw on Pinterest, it was completely covered and smooth, so their chocolate must be must have been really watery or just watered down. Maybe, I don't know, I can add milk next time. But I'm gonna stick this into the freezer, let it freeze, and let it sit in there until we are ready to have some dessert after lunch. Whew, break time! We are gonna watch my friends um, 
tutorial get ready with me and she's a new youtuber so we are going to do an upcoming collab together so we are going to watch it <laughs> what there Uh, Luis is out for work. He'll be gone all day. He had to leave early in the morning, so uh, I feel and look like uh, a mess right now. I'm waiting for the clock to strike 11 so that I can tell the kids to clean up because it really doesn't make sense to have them clean up their toys right now if we're not going to go eat lunch. I'll let them keep playing until it's time to clean up, but I cannot stand this mess, you guys. I am just like itching. There's just socks and crayons and shoes, Legos and toys, dogs' toys, and... <laughs> and... Dirty face on this boy right here, Mike. Hmm? Mike, do you want me to pinch you? I'm gonna pinch you. No. Do you want me to tickle you? Do you want me to tickle you? I'm gonna tickle you. <gasps> Mike, Mike. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> what are you smiling at, Miss Grumpy Face? Hmm? We'll stop. We'll stop it. Knock it off. <laughs> we'll stop. I'm gonna give you a noogie. I want me to give you a noogie. I'm gonna give you a noogie. You go, mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Oh, you, you want a noogie too? Okay. Mm. There. Mm. Come here, let me give you a nook. No! Come here, I'll give no. you a nook. See. <laughs> the hardest thing, I think, I would say, the hardest, I'm going to say it a million times, the hardest thing about being a um, parent of twins or multiples or mother of twins is, uh, is just splitting up myself with two other kids. And it's, unbelievably hard and i feel guilty every single day because i feel like sometimes i feel like the way like lucy acts or reacts is because she's not getting enough attention from me like if i have to cook and clean and there's Mika and there's and there's lucy i feel like she acts out because she's not getting attention from me and when she finally gets my attention she's all better and i just can't help but blame myself but sometimes like it's hard it's hard to do what I need to do throughout the house and split my time between two kids. And I don't want to give them 50-50. I, I want to give them each 100%, but it's so hard. I can tell more with Lucy because she acts out a lot more than Mika does. But she's always around me, always wanting me to hold her, which I am not complaining. But when I'm in the kitchen or doing something, it's like, I don't know. Say hola. Hola. Soy. Yo, I said, yo soy. Me amo. Say me amo. Lucy. Doble U. Chica, chica, boom, boom. Is this a chair Bye. You're not going anywhere. Bye. You're not going anywhere. Say chica, chica, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. I just want to, I just want to squeeze you. Okay, we're going to start cleaning up our toys in 20 minutes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm such a bad YouTuber person. I haven't Hi. uploaded anything to my Abby Hi. Contrary channel. And I video, I did film something for Valentine's Day to put on that channel. But before that, it was like weeks or months and I feel horrible. But thank you guys for sticking with me because, yeah, I feel bad. And also, my fun Fridays, it's been a while. And I, you guys, I just don't know what to do. I don't have any suggestions. Actually, I know of one challenge that Luis and I are going to do soon. It's going to do like an arm workout challenge. And it's going to be funny because, you know, a big macho guy doing this 
arm workout challenge that will be sometime soon i'm not gonna say when because he is very busy with work and things just come up and you know just life in general and another video that i was going to do but never got to it was the um homemade corn dogs and we had it for one night and the next day i was going to film it but then i was like i kind of don't want corn dog so i'm gonna wait for luis again to get back and film that oh and a giveaway i'm going to do a giveaway for my instagram I'm just waiting for the product to arrive to do the giveaway so all these things i'm not saying them just to say it it's just like this is what happens with life and a busy life you want to do all these things i get very 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 ambitious and then things get in the way of that ambition and I get upset or I get cranky or I get sad and like I get like unmotivated if that makes sense like you get ambitious and things come up and you're just not mo motivated at all that's how I am and um and that's my temperament that's my character for all of you guys know once I start something I gotta finish or else I cannot sleep cannot eat I'm stressed actually I can eat I'll eat a lot and then it's just downhill from there you guys three more days until my birthday it's my birthday month i'm so excited because i get to request what i want to do that day and Luis will say yes actually excited because we're gonna go i think two hours away to like a big, bigger town and they have more shopping in there and just more people and see see all these people buy these like cool stuff things that i can't buy anyways i'm so excited and i also gave Luis my wish list of what i wanted for my birthday or or christmas thanksgiving whatever just this one item that i really really want and i don't want to tell you guys until maybe it arrives or maybe till he gets it actually what i really want is a um it's a kitchenaid blender and it's a the five five star or five blade blender which works i've heard works just as good as a blend tech and a vitamix and half of the cost just way cheaper you know what i like doing i like calling the kids over to me pretending they're in trouble and be like just kidding i just wanted a hug come here what did i say hmm what did i say i just wanted a hug from you <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> For lunchy, this is what it looks like. Just, I'm gonna have two. These are tiny hot dogs. I tried to cut off the ends of the bread. Um, these are veggie hot dogs, and mine has ketchup, wheat bread, and some relish with, uh, what's this called again? Chips and dip or chips and salsa and then for the kids i didn't even bother giving them the bread for their hot dog because they don't eat it so they have a cup or half a cup of applesauce pears <gasps> wow wow okay hey no not yet we didn't pray say bon appetito <laughs> okay now here's the outcome of these yummy desserts hmm Arriga. Say chocolate. Arrega. Chocolate. Lucy's definitely gonna like it. She likes because she likes chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. Cold. I thought I could handle the cold, mm. but I can't. Mmm. Mmm. No, it's cold, not hot. Yeah. Another warm day out today. Oh, gosh, it's a beautiful day today, and it's winter time, and there's patches of snow everywhere. But yet, it's like 80 degrees out. Woo! I'm ready for summer weather. Let's go. Yeah, I think people are starting to show for this healthy living seminar, guys. I'm so excited. Let's go eat healthy food. Yay! from the Healthy Living Seminar. And oh, we had some good food. We had a, a broccoli or a, a vegetable soup made out of, and the broth was made out of cashews. Whew, that was good. And then the, um, a vegetable, um, a vegetable and olive puree sandwich and a side salad. And the salad was not just like your greens and 
dressing. It had like, I think it had caramelized pecans, it had pears, it had some figs. It was a really good salad. And the upside, beside, besides having a really good healthy dinner, is I won a prize. This one is a vegan yogurt starter. So this will help you start your own yogurts again and again and again. And I'm excited to try it out. And I even have a really long or a very many paged instructions with pictures. So I'm excited to try that out. And I got the item for my giveaway. And you guys check on Instagram. I think starting Monday I'll post a picture on Instagram of my giveaway and I won't do a separate video sorry so the only way to know about it is if you follow me on Instagram but yeah I'm gonna wind down the day with a Bible text and just just hang out here with my kids it will be from Proverbs 22 6 and this was actually mentioned at the end of the um, the video from today's healthy living seminar and which really goes well too it says train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it what she meant in that video um in in that aspect when it comes to healthy foods is if they learn if they know how to cook these foods and they learn how to eat these foods that's what they'll know when they grow up and i mean that's the best gift that i know one of the best gifts i can give to my kids is just a healthy living life it's just there's a lot of junk in this world that the last thing I want is my kids for to eat that junk. Also, it's good because it helps mama and daddy be healthy too and live longer. I try to teach my kids love and respect, whether it's to me and to others. And you guys already know that. Um, I don't let a lot of things slide just because some other people think it's cute. I want my kids to respect me. I want my kids to respect um, their, their daddy. And I want... Uh, my kids to respect their elders when they grow up so and so um, also I want my kids to know God and the Bible so you can take this this Bible text and use it in every aspect of your life when I um, hear that Bible text so yes I'm gonna say good night I'm tired I'm so tired and I can't wait for Luis to be back so I'm gonna have the kids say good night Ben, come here. Hi. Come here. Hi. No, give that to me. We're not going to play with that. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. We're not going to play with that. Gracias. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you. Lucy, you're so loud. <laughs> Lucy, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Adios. Say I love you. Adios. Say mwah. 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 Oh, be careful. Be gentle. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.